Hi, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Meet the Archangels, where every single week I trans channel one of the Archangels to allow them an opportunity to introduce themselves to you. This week, Archangel Zadkiel wanted to come forward to tell you a little bit about him. So what you're about to watch is a trans channeled video of Archangel Zadkiel coming forward and introducing himself. If this is the type of content that you like, please hit subscribe and stick around to have an opportunity to meet every single Archangel one at a time. Hello, hello. I look forward to having this time with all of you to speak to you about who I am and what I represent and how I show up to aid in all of your journeys in this lifetime. My name is Archangel Zadkiel, and I'm here to get to know you a little better and to share with you who I really am and what I am all about. My biggest priority with this planet is ensuring that all of you are maintaining the desires that you hold within you while you are here. And what I mean by that is that you each come here with your own purpose and your own desires for what you wish to get out of your lifetimes while you're here. And each of you holds this very near and dear to your heart, even if you don't quite remember what that was. And it is up to me to ensure that you walk that path as you intended to, and that you do not stray too far from it. And any time that I perceive any one of you to be struggling with the path that you are on, I am there to guide you and offer you support to get back on your feet and onto the path that you desire to walk. And sometimes this might mean presenting you an opportunity that you might deem to be a very large challenge. <laughs> And I know that not all of you see these challenges in the way that they may be intended to be seen, which is an opportunity for you to rise to the occasion and get back up on the horse, so to speak. And I know that a lot of you see these challenges as very difficult obstacles that stand in your way, but I would like to offer you a different perspective. When you are embarking on your journey through this lifetime, you will encounter all different circumstances and events that will unfold before you. And some of them will feel really good to you. And some of them will feel not so good to you. And the ones that feel really good to you are there to offer you an opportunity to experience that positivity. Things that you desire to feel more of because they feel good. And then there are challenges that you will face and and difficult scenarios and situations and conversations and painful emotional experiences that you will encounter and the human mind does not like these circumstances because they are very challenging emotionally mentally and sometimes physically to endure however from the soul perspective, this is a big part of why you are here. You are here to experience all that you cannot experience on the other side. You see, when you are in a non-physical container, when you are just fully embodying your ethereal selves, you do not have access to these difficult experiences. And so you come here to have access to them so that you can learn from them and grow from them and pick out newfound wisdom and nuggets of inspiration from them. And these experiences allow you to move forward in a new way that you would not have the opportunity to do so otherwise. And so these challenging and difficult experiences are some of the most sought after from your soul perspective because here on this planet is the only way that you have access to them and so i would like to offer you that when you're going through your life and you're encountering something that you perceive to be very difficult challenging and painful i would like you to keep some level of awareness around the fact that this is exactly what you wanted <laughs> And I know that can be difficult for you to understand and accept and want to indulge in that idea, but this is why I wanted to come through today is to really pass along that message that the difficult experiences that you encounter in this lifetime are there all in service 
to you and they are in fact things that you are seeking out on a soul level. And I would like to add that as you are embarking on your journey, you will encounter situations and circumstances that you perceive to be challenging that you will not want to face. And so you will find every possible solution and opportunity and excuse not to come face to face with that difficult opportunity because it will feel really uncomfortable for you. And I do not blame you. Discomfort is not exactly something that you desire to face from the human perspective. And this is where I come in, my dears. This is where I will present myself in your life and I will say, aha, she is trying to bypass this learning opportunity that she specifically intended to have placed smack dab in the middle of her path so that she can learn this beautiful lesson from. But she refuses to learn it because she did, does not desire to face the discomfort associated with it. And so I will come through and I will say, hear me, hear me now. This is something that you must encounter. And I will just so gently nudge you in the direction that is required for you to face this very uncomfortable situation. And once again, you will say, no, I do not want to have this experience. I am going to go a different way. And I will come back and I will say, uh, 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 this is time for you to learn this lesson. And I will gently nudge you again in that direction so that you are forced to face this valuable lesson for yourself and you will be kicking and screaming the entire time and you will call yourself a victim and you will say, how dare the universe put this in my way? What did I do to deserve this circumstance? And I will stand by and smile and look down upon you and say, no, my love, this is what you wanted. This is what you asked for. And I am simply here to ensure that you get out of this experience what you really deeply desired to. And you might be wondering at this time, but Archangel Zadkiel, don't I have the power of free will? If I do not wish to learn a valuable lesson for myself, then I do not need to. It is up to me to choose. And I respond to that and I say, you are correct. There is never a lesson that you are forced to learn. However, sometimes when you are planning out the path of your lifetime, there are individual checkpoints along the way where you have decided in advance that there is no way around it. This is something that you desire to experience so that you can learn something specific from it. And so when that scenario comes to pass in the list lifetime, that is when I intervene ever so slightly to ensure that you get out of this lifetime exactly what you desire to. Do you see? And so you do have the power of free choice and the freedom to choose which way you want to go and everywhere you wish to see yourself go. And this is all good and fine, but there are sometimes that there are exceptions to the rule where I will come in and I will ever so gently nudge you in a specific direction that you intended to go before you came here. And so you see, part of my purpose in being here is to ensure that you get out of your life path and this journey through this incarnation, everything that you really intended to. And I take this, this rule very seriously because I know that it is for your highest and best. And you are counting on me to keep you on your path and in alignment with your deepest purpose for being here. And so in that way, I look at myself as the as a soul guide, so to speak, a guide who ensures that you are walking your path as you intended to and that you do not fear too far off of it for the sake of your own personal growth and expansion and, and, and soul development in that way. And I would like to add that sometimes you will encounter experiences that you do not walk away from. There are experiences that are so challenging and that are so difficult that you have decided that it is no longer worth moving forward past. And this is all well and fine. This is your choice and this is where the freedom of choice comes into play. But I would like you to know if you do decide to end it and to exit this experience, you will need to come back eventually to finish what you started one way or another. 
and you can choose to do this anytime you want to. There is no rush, there's no pressure placed upon you. And in fact, on the other side in your soul embodiment, you also have the choice to return or not return. But your own growth and expansion will be stalled until you do. And so eventually, most souls do decide to return one way or another to finish what they started. And so my loves, I want you to know that if you were going through a rough time in your life that you are having a lot of trouble with and you are thinking to yourself, this is not worth it. Why am I here for this? What is this worth to me? Why not just leave so I do not have to face this or encounter this anymore and deal with the suffering that I have had to endure? I would like to encourage you to take a step back and pause. What can you learn from this experience? How might this experience be, be here to help you and to guide you and to propel you forward in a new way that you would not have access to before? The difficulty that you are experiencing is exactly what you need to learn from. And exiting is not always the best answer for you. Because you will have to come back to face it again eventually. And any time you find yourself facing this fork in the road, where you can take one way and move through this painful experience to the other side of it or not. I would like you to please call upon me because this is where my job becomes a little bit more difficult. When it comes to life or death scenarios, I cannot intervene unless you ask me to. And I would like to intervene in those instances because it is with my, within my best interest as well as yours to stay and to stick it out and to face the challenges head on because that is what you deeply desire of yourself and you are strong and you are powerful. And I know, I know that you have it in you to keep going and that is what I want for you more than anything else. I know that this is a message that you might not have expected and I know that this is a message that your host is feeling a little uncomfortable channeling at this time but there are many of you that are going to be watching this that may be faced with this challenging contemplation in their heart and I would like to remind you that I know this that you are not hidden from the world. Even if you can't see me, even if you don't know that I am there, I know you. I see you. I hear you. I hear you. Yes, you. I'm speaking to you. And I would like you to call upon me to give you the strength and the courage and the the insight and the inspiration to find a way forward because that is my job is to help guide you on your path and to help you through the hurdles that you face and there is so much opportunity available to you on the other side of this you just have to keep going I promise you it'll be so worth it I promise you this and so I am the angel of the soul path it is my mission to keep you on your path moving forward. And I want you to call upon me anytime you need me, my help with this. I have helped so many of you over and over again throughout your lifetimes through similar challenges that you now face. We are old friends, old acquaintances. We are not new to one another. You just do not remember me. That's all. But I promise you, I know you, I recognize your soul frequency and deep down you recognize mine. And I would like the opportunity to help you in this lifetime as I have helped you in so many that have come before this one. 
and I love you so deeply, more than you could ever know. And all I want for you is to recognize the innate power that lies within you, which is unique to you. And your soul gifts are calling out to you to be heard. But you must overcome this obstacle that lies ahead of you first. And that is the obstacle that exists within your own mind. It is your fear. It is your doubt. It is your shame. That is the only obstacle that you face. The rest is an illusion. As is that, my dears. The illusion is that you are not powerful beyond belief. The illusion is that you do not have more waiting to be tapped into and more that is available to you than you have yet known or allowed yourself to claim. You are so loved. And it is my desire more than anything else for you to recognize this within yourself and to show yourself the same love that I now show you. I wanted to come through today with this specific message because there will be a lot of you watching this that need to hear this message. In the time that you receive it, and we are going to be going through some, some times in the upcoming years that you will face hurdles and obstacles and questions deep within you about, is this really worth it? What am I, what is this all about? What is the purpose of all of this? Why am I here? What is, what is, is there more meant for me than this? And the answer is yes. Yes, there is more. But the only way to uncover what it is, is to stick around for it. I want you to know that there is regret on the other side for not having stuck around through it all. There are souls who regret not having pushed through in the ways that they could have, when they realize what they missed, the opportunities that lay missed out on. And I do not want that for you. It is so avoidable, my dear ones. I love you so deeply and you are so deeply cared for by the light beings that surround you. And the only way to feel us there is to let us in. To open up to us, to ask us for help and guidance and support when you need it. And we will bring it to you. You must ask for it. And I want you to know that there is no greater gift than the love that you can give yourself. And if there is one thing I will leave with you today, it is this. Love is your answer. Love is the answer to the questions that you ask. Everything that you seek the answer is love. Love in the form of acceptance. Accepting who you are. Accepting the circumstances that you have found yourself in. And this does not mean that you must endure. This simply means that you cannot change what has already come to pass. But you can change it moving forward. And this comes from love of yourself to do so. Forgiveness from yourself for what you have allowed yourself to endure in the past that you no longer will moving forward. Find the strength to love yourself unconditionally so that you can change your circumstances and move through the challenges that you face to the other side of them. And what incredible 
wisdom and knowledge you will have gained in the act of doing that. I would like you to know that there is no greater gift than the great gift that you give to yourself in this lifetime of fully embracing the love that you have available for yourself. And this will always be the way through. I know it sounds sort of easy, too simple. It is simple, but it's not necessarily easy, which is why you haven't done it yet. This is why you suffer so. Do you see this? All you have to do is let go of the pain that you carry and that you hold against yourself. Show yourself the love that you seek and this is going to guide you forward. And if you need help with this, call upon me and I will gently nudge you in the direction that you need to go in order to learn how to find it. I have been coming down to planet Earth for millennia with the same task over and over and over again to guide each and every one of you forward on your individual journeys through to completion. And I am so proud of the work that we have all done with each other to get to where we are. And I look forward to the years to come where we can continue to work together and all of our paths come together as one so that you can see that you are not actually on individual paths, but you are all on parallel paths that are all leading in the same direction. And my dears, the direction that they are leading is back inwards to you to understand you on a deeper level because at the end of the day, that is what this is all about. Seeing yourself through a new lens over and over and over again to better understand yourself. And at the end of the day, you are all here to see yourselves through each other. And in that respect, mirror back to each other, love and compassion that you seek to feel within yourselves and find within yourselves. It is all the same purpose at the end of the day and you're each on parallel paths of finding it. How can you see that the people around you are searching for the very thing that you also search for? You are all on the same journey in different ways. And this is what makes planet Earth so wonderful. This is all that I wish to share with you today. It is a heavier message than my counterparts have shared in the past, but I think that this will resonate deeply with those who, who it is meant for. And I know that it will resonate with those who are ready to hear it. And I'm here to offer further guidance and support for any of those who need it most or who wish to receive it. I love you all. Thank you for listening.